Hello, I'm Joseph Nelson. Welcome back to another Spin Master Monster Jam review. It's been a while. I haven't really felt like doing these reviews, mostly because I'd never had time to, but I had to come back to review this. Sorry. The Retro Max D 5 pack. Yep, I got it already, and it's not even October yet. Though it will be tomorrow, which I can't believe. I can't believe October is already almost here. Something good better be waiting for us in 2021, or I swear. Anyways, this is the Max D Retro 5 pack. I ordered this from eBay. Somebody from California, obviously. Because they always get the new stuff first for some reason. And since I'm making a lot of money now with my new job as a janitor, I ordered this. So, yeah. What's up with the yellow mix? It looks like, looks like there's a little paint chip on the yellow maxi. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I still like it. And I'm pretty excited to open this. So, got Team Mints, Maximum Destruction, Max D 2013, the Yellow Max D, and the Red Max D. This thing is awesome. I don't know what people are, what people are excited for more, the... Front engine chassis or Team Mints, I think it's both. So here's the back of the box. It's got Team Mints, 2002, 2003 Maximum Destruction, even though these pictures are from 2009. Like that on San Diego, 2009, and I think they're, yeah, I think that's 2009 as well. 2013 Maxi, even though this is the spiked one, because this one came with the glow one, which I'm glad they did. The red Maxi and the yellow Maxi. On the side, got the yellow Maxi. And the red maxi. Excuse any mess you see in the background. I gotta get this area cleaned up. But enough talk. Let's open this thing. And as I'm opening this, I want to point out that they changed the way that they p keep the trucks in. They had a rubber band around the chassis, but they changed it. It's just these little rubber bands that you have to remove from the other side. So, so that's a nice touch there. Okay, after who knows how long of opening this five pack, finally got it open. So we're going to start off with the yellow Jared Eichelberg Max D. So obviously the black chassis, the, the black roll cage is the gray chassis, and the black BKT tires, and yellow rims. And well, this is the front engine chassis, as you can see. Why is it beautiful? I don't think that this would ever happen in a million years, but it happened. And think of all the customs we can do with this. Think of what trucks you could use. I certainly can think of one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about the front engine chassis, and I hope they keep using them for Max D's in the future. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can film at least one before this piece of crap battery dies. Alright, so got the got Maximus on the side, black hole in the background. And Tom Mance right there, even though Jared Eichelberg drove this. And got the Max D Maximum Destruction logo up there. It's the Monster Jam logo with the paint chip on it. That's an error right there. But it's fine. Just look at that en engine that front engine for a second. Beautiful. And er everyone's been quiet about this, so I'm let me be the first to say this is a render accurate version of the yellow Max D because in 2016 when they revealed these, it was just a render. And all the Maxis had front engine chassis, even the gold one did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, just thought I'd point out that little detail. I'm pretty sure nobody cares, but oh well, whatever. What are you gonna do, right? And we got the tailgate, got the 3D tail lights, the black stripe in the middle, or gray, I should say. So there's the back with the dark gray and the light gray in the middle. Max D logo on the roof, 11 time world champion. There's all, all the spikes on it. I also realized this is pretty much an inverse Max D. I was saying that they should do a inverse max D in the future but this is pretty much what it what it would have looked like because 
because the gray is where the yellow is. It's a gray logo. Uh, yeah, it's, it's an inverse. I'm sure you can figure it out. But the point is, it's, it's what an inverse truck would look like. Oh my goodness. What the crap? Look at that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, some kind of error. But, well, it looks like all the other trucks are fine, so. So, yeah. You got the hood. The gray stripe in the middle. It's the two vents. You got the, you got the front there. It's the two headlights. Max D logo in the middle. And, yeah. This thing is beautiful. And up next, we got the red Maxi. Neil Elliott's red Maxi, that is. So, it's got the blunt. The black Wheelman chassis, or roll cage, or something on the front. The black roll cage, gray chassis, the black BKG tires, and orange rims. At first I thought these were inaccurate rims, but then I remembered the real Red Max Z ran these. So, yeah, I'm just thinking about the Hot Wheels one. Alright, so let's zoom in. Got the Monster Jam logo there. Max D, Maximum Destruction logo right there. Tom Mintz. Got that Maximus on the side. Just the airbrushing details on the hands. That Monster Jam OCD pointed out. Very cool. Got the front, the two headlights. More spikes on the front. Max D logo in the middle. You got the flame going down the middle. All the way to the back. 11 time world champion. And there's the rest of the flame there. Got the red tail lights. No Monster Jam logo in the middle. Once again. Still love that front engine. Never thought that they would ever do this. I should just get another five pack and use the chassis to customize certain trucks, such as El Toro Loco. Hope they do that in the future. That would be cool. Chuck Warner's El Toro Loco. So there's the driver's side. And it's pretty much to it. And I think this is a very cool truck. Way better than Hot Wheels. Even though they kind of did a better job with the red, apparently. But, still cool. On to the next one. Now we're on to the 2003 Maximum Destruction. This design means a lot to me because I saw Maximum Destruction at my very first monster truck show in Tacoma in 2010. Neil Elliott was driving, so that makes me love this design even more. So, you all know the deal with the chassis and the tires. Ex well, except, I was talking about the tires for a second. These are the, the Retro Flotation 23 tires. It's the orange rims. Very cool. We, we will be receiving a rear engine version of this Maximum Destruction. I don't know if he'll have the Flotation tires or not. It has the BKT tires on the poster, but... Posters can never be accurate. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. We'll, we'll see, eventually. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Anyway, so let's, let's zoom in. Got Tom Mance right there. Maximum destruction. The flame going along the side. Got the fake window right there next to the Monster Jam logo. Got all the coils and stuff in the background. And the printed on spikes right there. Very cool. And then we go to the front. Got, got the headlights right there. On mission. Very nice. And the hood, you got the Tom Mance right there. If we get the focus, come on. There we go. You got the coils on the side. Some more fake spikes. And on the roof, got Tom Mance right there. Then 10 time world champion. It's the Advanced Hollow Parts Monster Jam logo. Pretty sure they forgot to remove that, but still pretty cool. That just makes it even more retro. Now, now I want to talk about this for a second. This, this is the 2000. This is from 2003. Yet, yeah, as I know, it, they this design debuted in 2003. But, but a couple things that doesn't make it look like 2003 is the orange beadlocks and the 10-time world champion because he didn't win. Ten times back in two thousand three. So, if anything, this is more like a 
More like a 2012 one, like after the World Finals during the Path of Destruction tour. So this should have been 2012, but I know, I know what they were going for. But I just, that's just my opinion. Just want I to point it out. But yeah, whatever. 2003. This came out in 2003. But you know, anyways. <clears throat> So we got out that on the roof, and then you got Maximus in the middle, or on the back, I should say, with all the coils wrapping completely around, something Hot Wheels never did. Got the flames shooting out onto the back. You have the 3D taillights on the back, still no Monster Jam logo over there. And then you got the driver's side. Same deal, Maximum Destruction logo, Tom Mintz, Monster Jam, all that good stuff. So I love this thing, I can't wait to get the Retro Rebels version of it. That's pretty much going to be the Craig Christensen Maximum Destruction, because you know how he drove the rear engine Maximum Destruction. I think in two, from 2011 to 2012, before he went to the 10th anniversary one, and then quit Monster Jam to go back to driving Dragon Slayer. I think, I think that's how it went. There you go. There's your monster truck history lesson. But that won't be the last. So that's maximum destruction. Now let's move on. Ugh. Now let's move on to the next truck. Excuse me. I'm just excited to review this. And here is possibly my favorite from this 5-pack. The 10th Anniversary Glow Maxi. This is my favorite Maxi design. I saw this also in person in Tacoma in 2013, which was my second monster truck show. So, these two designs mean a lot to me. That's why I love the Retro Rebels. They make, they, they're making monster trucks from my childhood. Trucks that I grew up with. Stuff that makes me feel nostalgic. So anyways, so we got the black chassis, or black roll cage and gray chassis with the Retro Flotation 23 tires, which seem to be a tad messed up, but that's alright, I can fix them later. So, zoom in. Yeah, I never got the regular Hot Wheels Glow Maxi. I got the Hot Wheels Race Rewards one, which is a total mess, because I, I didn't take good enough care of it, which is one of my biggest regrets. But, I'll take care of this one. Anyways... So you got Maximus on the side, 3D, no spikes. This one never ran spikes, except for these fake fake ones right here. So you got those, Tom Mance, Maxi, Decade of, uh, Decade of Destruction, the modern Monster Jam logo. Barry, you screwed up the timeline again. So then you got that. Then you got the LED lights going all along the truck. I love the detail that they put into the lights. They actually look like lights. They don't just look like yellow lines like what Hot Wheels did. I'll compare the Hot Wheels one in a bit. Anyways, you got the flame going along the side. You got more lights on the back along with the tail lights. Yeah, I, just, I got to see this in Tacoma in 2013. I didn't get to meet Tom Mintz. Because I was too busy being in line for Charlie Pockin. Sorry, Tom. So you got the m more lights. And you got the flame in the middle. It doesn't just cut off right here like the Hot Wheels did. That was pretty friggin' dumb. On the, on the roof, 10-time world champion. No advanced auto parts logo this time. They got it right. 10-time world champion with the big X. Yeah, 10-time champion and 10th anniversary. Ten, 10 everything, I guess. <laughs> Decade of Destruction. And then there's the front. It's the two headlights. The more lights around it. It's Max D in the middle. On the hood, you got Decade of Destruction. Some more LEDs. Yeah, it'd be cool if they ran this body again. I mean, if they have Alien Invasion, who is wrapped in LEDs, then they can run this again. Unless they got enough money for one. Anyways, got the driver's side, same deal, the 3D face, all the lights and stuff. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. My favorite design. And now we'll compare it to the Hot Wheels one. Now here's the Hot Wheels one, seven years later. I've kept it away in a silver collection box hung up in here. 
though it's still pretty beat up and dirty from from 13 year old me being stupid with it I just went out and did what every kid did was I took it out and played with it not caring about how valuable it, it would be in the future <coughs> so yeah I feel pretty bad about that so so uh, so anyways <laughs> Here's what I was talking about earlier with the flame. See how it just cuts off? Get the lights completely going around. Then the Monster Jam logo was right here instead of there. Then one thing they need to do is make this a darker gray. Though, you already heard Monster Jam OCD say it, so you don't need to hear it from me. So, I got that. Oh, yeah. Spin Master... Pretty much nailed it with this. When I saw the five pack for the first time, I saw I saw this. I'm like, what is that? Is that the glow one? I mean, that that better be what I think it is. Sooner, then later, I see Monster Jam OCD's review. I'm like, holy crap! It's the it's the glow one. Yeah, I love this one. So that's the glow one. I love it, and I look forward to seeing it again in the future by Spin Master. All right. And now we're on to possibly everyone's favorite on in this five pack, Team Men's. Well, let me let me tell you something. This is probably the best thing I ever woke up to, because when Monster Jam OCD posted the first picture of this, showing the front engine chassis bit of the Team Men's body, I I'm like holy crap! I better not be dreaming of Max D five pack. I mean, wow. And I think that I saw that on the same month. It was like the day after I, it was the day after my trip up to Georgia, which I didn't vlog, so don't expect to see any videos of that because I'm pretty sure nobody would watch it. Anyways, anyways, here's Team Men's, a fi finally an accurate version of Team Men's after 18 stinking years. So, so the gray chassis is the black roll cage, black flotation tires, and gray rims, which is accurate to a encore version of Team Men's. Which, like, I, I don't know about uh, the encore, but I just, there's a picture out there of a rear engine Team Men's truck with the uh, gray rims. So we got the side. You got Team Men's on right there. Tom Men's right above. A USHRA logo right there behind the flat, uh, fake black window. And then USHRA.com right there. Got the flames going alongside there and there. On the front it says on a mission. The two headlights right there. And more flames on the hood. Want to focus? 2000-2001 World Champion. Very cool. And on the roof, we got Team Mance with the flame in the background. Then, speaking of Mance, we got Tom Mance on the back. First first time this has ever been done, but Hot Wheels sure failed to do this. I bet they feel stupid now. So, then we got Tom Mance on there. Got the two 3D headlights on the back with the Monster Jam logo in the middle. It's weird seeing the, mo the modern Monster Jam logo on an old truck. If we can focus, come on. Okay. So, yeah, there's that. Then the driver's side, same stuff. Now, let's just compare it to the Hot Wheels version real quick. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, I was having trouble. So, there's the Hot Wheels one. So, this is a good flashback one to the Hot Wheels one, even though we wanted it on the ac accurate body. Oh yeah, this looks way better. Here's the front. So yeah, that's the... Well, there's pretty much there's nothing left for me to say. The battery is about to die on this camera. I failed to charge both batteries, and I only have one charger for the for these batteries. So, so that will conclude the XD five pack review, and I'll do a review of Backwards Bob later. So, 
I want to thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more reviews and go sign up for Science Series 17. And who knows, maybe I added these trucks to it. So, see you later. This is Joseph Nelson, signing off. Okay, thanks for watching, Joseph. Hope you enjoyed it.